Hello beautiful Scorpios, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. We're getting started with your reading and the first energy card out of the deck is Fortune's Wheel, a <laughs> luck and right timing. Oh, I like that for you. Scorpio, soon to be your birthday. Happy birthday upcoming. So let's see what we have here. We also, a tidy house, clarity and organization. So very much about getting your house in order. Feeling very lucky at this time. Well, birthdays always tend to bring good luck astrologically. Beloved, radical acceptance of love. Okay, let's jump in here and see what we have for the overall energy in your reading, Scorpio. Let's take a look. Two more shuffles. One more shuffle for our Scorpio friends. Let's see what we have here. I'm going to give one more shuffle for good measure. All right, okay. So, energy at the bottom of the deck. Hanged man. Pisces energy, Scorpio. Hanging around, taking a look from a different perspective at your world. All right. In the recent past, you and a beloved have chosen one another. The three of wands, tiki torches, starry nights, a beautiful ocean, a lot of emotion, but happiness, joy, excitement about your future, Aries energy. The ten of wands speaks to the fact that the two of you as a couple are giving up some burdens. You may have both come into the relationship leaving a burdened past behind. You may feel as though you're going to be dealing with as you go through the process here, you know, really letting go of the past and enjoying one another. The way your person views the relationship, eight of coins, getting to know you, getting to know all about you, working on the relationship, devoting yourselves to one another, Monday through Sunday, beautiful energy. How they view you, Scorpio, they view you as a page of pentacles, someone who is very steady, who's reliable, you may be younger than them. But it speaks to the fact that they think that you are a very reliable person that they can count on. And they uh, are they want to make at least a small offer to you. And they feel as though you're doing the same with them. In their heart space, they are throwing caution to the winds. The two of you are just having fun. And it looks like the two of you both came out of a long cycle of being alone. Let's see what we have how they view this situation with you. How will it unfold? Well, it will unfold with integrity because we see the Ace of Swords. Truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. You don't want anything less, Scorpio, nor does your person. The World card, that's a mutual energy that's hidden between the two of you. Both of you think that this could be the, ba the relationship that will carry you through the rest of your life. The world card, they, they think you think the world of each other, you feel as though this relationship holds every potential available in love, and that you could go the distance with one another. Spirit is recommending that you stay cool, calm, collected, make very good choices, uh, and certainly think things through. Don't rush anything. And the seven of wands is your outcome. As you get to know each other, you will begin to let your guard down. But right now, you know, you're staying um, optimistic, but you're also holding back a little bit. I think it's a very good indication of progress being made in a new relationship. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards. Now, after I clarify the cards, I'm going to go through with this deck and tell you your person's favorite aspects of your personality. The things that they like best about you will follow immediately after I clarify the card. Okay, so let's see. Why do we have the hanged man here? Hanging around, Pisces energy, looking at things from a different perspective, very Cirque du Soleil, content, happy, not in a rush, reading the hieroglyphics, seeing what you can learn about each other in a subtle way. Look at temperance. Okay, Temperance card is a card of reconciliation, or it can be. So it does mean that for some of you, this could be the rebirth of a relationship. 
but temperance card is Sagittarius energy. It's bringing all the right stuff, honesty, integrity, and Archangel Michael to the table to protect the relationship. Why do we have the Three of Wands here? Clarified by the Knight of Wands, passionate, fiery, exciting. You have quite an adventure here when you're together. It looks as though you fire one another up and that you really have this wonderful experience physically, emotionally, very fired up in this relationship. The Knight of Wands is a traveler. So right now, neither of you have completely decided on the relationship, but both of you see the potential of it and you feel as though you might be the one long term for one another. But in the meantime, it's a spicy meatball with that Knight of Wands. It's a lot of fun right now. All right. So the Ten of Wands, what does that represent in this relationship? It shows that you've given up the burdens of the past and you're moving forward. So let's see what we have. Ten of Cups. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So leaving one relationship to enter another. So the Temperance card, very interesting energy because it is leaving the burdens of the, the past behind, the baggage, letting go of your baggage and coming into this energy. Ten of Cups is Pisces energy. The two of you are in love. This is happily ever after love. This is marriage energy love of a couple that can absolutely enjoy their entire lives together. It's all about the love. There is no other motivation other than pure love in this energy. Scorpio, nice. Why do we have the eight of coins here for how your person is viewing the situation? Something they can build on. Ah, the ace of cups again. A rebirth in love. They feel as though the two of you have a love that is undeniable for each other. Why do we have the page of coins? We have the high priestess. They feel as though... You don't speak a lot. You're very, very discreet. They put you on a pedestal, definitely. Your person feels as though um, you have a very high level education or knowledge. The high priestess is um, somebody who is very discreet, very nurturing, <coughs> Cancerian energy. Oh, we have a puppy here who wants to come on to into the reading. So I'm going to put her on the chair behind me. As I sit back down, she gets quite happy during these readings. So she's, Mom, I want to be with you. All right, throwing caution to the winds. That's what your person is doing in their heart space. They are willing to take the risk on love. They're excited about it. They see you as the rock star of, of romantic partners. I had this for cancer also, right in the same spot. This is your hopes and dreams for love coming true. When we get to the star card, you've the tower has come down. You've rebuilt your life on a very stable platform. You are in the energy of being spiritually aware. You're beautiful inside. You're beautiful outside, of course, Scorpio. Your person sees you as their absolute wish fulfillment in their heart space of the ideal partner. They are in love, Scorpio, in love. The Ace of Swords, the Seven of Swords, I got the same thing in the same place with Cancer. Why is it Seven of Swords peeking its head out? Because your person almost feels like they can't be totally honest with you. They feel as though you might not want to hear some of the, what has happened to them in their lives. The Seven of Swords, though, is a bit of a warning shot for sure that you might not see something coming. I feel as though with the Hanged Man reversed, that they're going to tell you something that you haven't that they haven't told you yet. They will come through with the truth. They very much love you. They definitely want you. But the Seven of Swords is telling me that they might not have given you all the information yet that you need to make a solid decision about them. So let's see what that Seven of Swords, what is the secret behind the Seven of Swords? What is the secret for Scorpio behind the Seven of Swords? Oh, 
not the chariot card. Well, that's Cancerian energy. So the secret is that, that they are keeping from you is that they are going to be very, very, they're going to move fast. Your person wants to move fast. They want to be very stealthy. They don't want you to see their love conquest coming. They don't want you to hold back either. But we have had the hanged man, one in reverse and one upside, right side up. So it is the energy. They are trying to win your heart very fast so that you almost don't notice. Don't notice, you know, don't notice, Scorpio. I'm just going to rush in with the best that I have to offer. And I'm going to sneakily steal your heart away. So, but the Seven of Swords is something to be careful of. So I would say... You know, it's a cautionary note, but we all have secrets. We really do. And it shows that your person may not actually be telling you how they feel right now. So it looks like they're holding back on that. They're afraid almost that they're going to go too quickly and put you off. So they're moving very fast towards you. All right, the world card. Why is it here? The Knight of Cups, a beautiful love offer coming in. A beautiful romantic Knight on a horse with flowers, the Queen of Swords energy. Both of you are also very logical. We see that both of you may have uh, air signs in your in your chart. We have the Queen, we have Libra and Aquarius swords. The Queen and King of Swords is a very good match, very intellectually well matched. So that may be a part of the charm you have with each other. We have the Queen of Wands. Okay. So the one thing that I would say is the spirit is trying to warn you that they may have contact. An ex may reach out to them and they may have contact with somebody from their past. So I would say if there's any odd, weird sort of situations going on, to be wary of it. You know, just pay attention. You have all the tools you need to make this, to make a happy choice here. We also see judgment card, seven of wands. Um, both of you holding back, but both of you making a final judgment here on this relationship. You know, what are you releasing? And it says, oh, you're releasing being left in the cold. And what are you going towards when you make that decision? Beautiful, the magician manifesting this new love. So judgment card is, is a Scorpio energy. And it is all about releasing that which does not serve you, but it's also all about making decisions about the next move you will take in your life. So leaving sadness behind, it, it really is very, very obvious with this Ten of Wands and your mutual energy that both of you are doing that in your love relationship. Both are letting go of the past, letting go of old wounds. You know, it's very important to do that. So you have to be healed to have a good relationship. Let's look, Scorpio, and see what your person thinks about you. What do they love best about you, Scorpio? What does your person love best about you? Let's see what we have here. Okay. This looks like a very fortunate relationship. We have the Justice card. They feel that you're very balanced. They feel that you're very wise, that you make decisions after weighing all the pros and cons. That is what the Queen of Swords energy does, okay? So we definitely see you in that, that flow. They have great respect for the way you make decisions. The Ace of Cups upside down. So they feel, okay, so right now they feel <laughs> as though you hold back, almost as though you're a bit coy in the love department. They feel very much that your energy is one of loving them, but not necessarily saying anything. And they do find the high priestess energy with that ace of cups. You know, they do find it interesting for sure. Let's see, what else do we have here for what they like about you? We have the Queen of Wands. Oh, interesting. The Queen of Wands is here. So they see you as very fiery, very passionate, very much a person who's out there. So it's interesting because here we have you being very subdued, very quiet, very discreet, holding back. But your person sees a fire in your belly. Well, hey, we did have the Knight of Wands. Is that not correct? 
We did have, yeah, the Knight of Wands and the Three of Wands. Absolutely. So they see you as very passionate, very balanced, but it's so interesting that what they love about you also is that you have this fiery Queen of Wands energy. The Two of Cups, they see you as a person who does want commitment, possibly with them, and they love the fact that you love so deeply when you love. We get the Four of Swords in the reverse also. So they love the fact that you no longer need to heal, that the Four of Swords says that you're finished with healing, that you're in a good spot, that you've gone through that. The Devil energy speaks to the fact that you are very picky. You want things your way. And they actually find that quite charming. They feel as though you're not too overbearing because you're, you're very much limiting what you demand of anybody else, but that you are very fixed and very set on what you want. You are not to be deterred from anything you want or any of your goals. So what do we have? We have the Three of Wands energy. Aw, Three of Wands, beautiful. Three of Wands, Three of Wands. They love the fact that, you know, you consider them your person. The fact that you've made the choice that your ships have come in that you view them in the same way they view you. We see the King of Swords energy. The King of Swords, they love the fact that you are you have a brilliant intellect, that you're very smart, that you know how to make very powerful decisions, even in the toughest of times. So we do see the awakening here. We do see the Judgment card twice. So now we have the magician, the judgment twice. So they love the fact that you are choosing them. So that's what I have for your Scorpio. It's been a joy. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me if you like this portion of the reading. Tell me where you're from. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.